Don't message best with Big Judy. So the lift still isn't here. Here it is. There we go. Right on cue, as they say. We're on our way now, man. <laughs> Found next door to two gyms, they've just got a massive cake and ice cream shop. Flipping milkshakes, ice cream, crepes, and coffee. Stick with the latter. Good afternoon. Good energy today. How are you? Yeah. Looking good. Week two. Let's do it. Speaking of the devil. How are you doing, mate? Should you warmed up? Absolutely. Straight upstairs. Yep, let's do it. We know the drill now, there's no way to do it. <laughs> I put my fisherman's hat on for you. Thank you, mate. I know you'd appreciate it. To get straight into your 10 press ups, mate. Press up plus. Just press up, stand at once. Oh, oh that's asking a lot. Are you fresh? Hey, hey, that's not bad. I'm happy with that. Two more. And then push up plus. Right in. You're looking very nautical today. What does that mean? As in, like, fisherman. Nautical. Up on your feet, go into your rotations. So I always look at this movement and I feel like it's like an unlocking movement for a warm up. Is that is that a good thing to say? How, how do you mean? So I'm un, I'm sort of like unlocking my shoulder muscles to enable me to be able to do my session at optimum level without injury. Think of it more like um, warming up the engine of a car before ragging it around a track. Mm. You wouldn't want to go straight from zero to 7,000 reps. You want to let that engine take over a little bit. So that's the purpose of these warm-up moves, more or less. Potentiation and injury prevention. Make a sport five last week. Is that what you did last week? Yeah, it's good to Yeah, it's good Okay, cool. So if you look at this section here, you're really focusing there on bringing the bar from the highest point of the chest over the shoulders. And this is emphasized here as well. So you'll see the contact point is on the highest point of my chest and I'm now pushing over the shoulders. Look at my wrists as well, completely straight. And I'm pushing through the heels of my hands. Nice. there is how quickly I'm coming over the shoulders and also how straight I'm keeping my wrists. Yeah. I'm also tucking my elbows slightly as well to keep that tension in my scap. Hopefully that'll come across. Okay, cool. Right, let's go. Here we go boys and girls. 50 kilos on the bar. What are we saying? I think you're moving pretty well there. Wrists are kind of straight. Yeah, it's, it's the best I've seen you move. This, there was some serious technical progression on this one. You can see hitting the highest point in the chest over there, coming over the shoulders. Those are good reps. Now, I remember here we just had a little bit of impingement going on in your shoulder. Okay, shoulder press. So the key thing here we're looking at is making sure that the elbow is actually in line with the line of force. So quite typical on a lot of your presses, you almost point the elbow behind you which puts a huge amount of stress inside the shoulder joint. So the cue here is to push the elbows forward a bit. So now they're in line with the line of force, but also you notice in line with the plane of my body. Yeah. It's the same angle. A bit like throwing a punch, you'd keep everything in alignment at the point of contact to get the most force transfer. That's the hardest one, there's one. Let's go. Now, two, keep it even. Let's go. Three, bit of intent now, come on. Four, come on, drive through the heels of your hands, five, the best set. And that's better, yeah, so in the These past, reps are quite good. Yeah, your elbows are facing down, like away from the plane of your body in the past, but now you're moving much more in alignment with the plane of your body. The wrists, yeah. look, good. The wrists look good too, pretty happy with that. Just starting to deviate a little bit there, you see the elbows start to pull backwards. It's push, it's push, it's push, it's push. And relax, one, well, yes. Well done. The machines ever offer anything different or any other issues? 
Absolutely, yeah. So the advantage of the machine is that you've got to worry a little bit less about balance. Uh, and it's more about just producing and executing with more and more force. These inclines, the negatives, I think they're my least favorite exercise. Okay. By this point, this is when I was starting to feel the energy that had depleted out of my body. Yeah. Probably over the weekend. Yeah. No, this was so difficult. It's because they're the eccentrics and you have the choice to rush them. But ideally here, we're looking to move as slowly as possible, about a five count on the way down. So it's challenging because you have a choice Yeah. to rush them. So it requires your absolute mental focus to perform them as they should be done. And it's not at the start of the session, it's midway through the session. Yeah. But you're getting better at those for sure, uh, committing better to that slow downward movement. It just feels uncomfortable if I let it drop anymore, if I push it, it's just gonna, it feels like it's ready to just snap. <laughs> as soon as there's an onset of discomfort in the shoulder, you've gone too far in terms of range. Yeah. So fall just short of that, always train in a pain free zone. You don't power through, okay? Yeah. So shoulders pinch, reduce the range slightly. I'm not bending forward as well, they stay fixed. Imagine you don't have an elbow joint. So from there, yeah. squeeze there. You've actually mastered this now. And it showed today as well on your flies with the dumbbells. It's the same movement pattern. Yeah. Less bend in the elbows too. Often I lean my shoulders forward, which creates yeah. a bend in my elbows. Yeah. We've got rid of that. Keep it fixed. So slight bend is okay, but no bending and extending mid-set. So what's the purpose then, would you say, of going straight in from the flies to the tricep pushdowns, the superset? Just increases the density of the session. So we're trying to get as much work done in the shortest frame of time possible. With the flies, we're not including the triceps at all, and this is largely a push session. So it just ensures that even though we are isolating the pecs with flies, we can still get some tricep involvement too thereafter. But it's mostly just for density reasons. All right, ready? Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm moving, let's go. Stay patient with that movement. Good, one more. So change things, upper arms, stay still, keep it still, keep it still, keep it still. There, Oh my God. Sorry, um, there's a fish tank, no one minnow back. No, actually, the session's going very well. Um, this time last week, I had a few issues with uh, energy. I got an extra meal in this morning, so I had my breakfast, and then I had uh, the beef and the rice that we had before this session. And I think that made the difference this week, just having those few extra calories in on top. And I had a high calorie day yesterday as well. But we made some progress across the board. It's time for that flipping yeah. circuit now. I don't like them. They're horrible. Okay, so the weight sessions are done. We're not going to do circuits today. Instead, today we're going to do naked wrestling. You against me. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, are we, are we using mats or? If you get undressed over there, yeah, okay. then we'll get started in two minutes, all right? I'm just gonna go down the gym. <laughs> 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 High oh. intensity naked wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the newest hit session. Um, this is gonna be going down on everyone's body transformations. Of course you heard it here first. Naked mud wrestling. The mud isn't mud. <laughs> mud is not essential. <laughs> Listen, I've told you, you can't keep calling me in the gym. You have to wait. Less of that. <laughs> you have to wait. <laughs> wait, now's not the time. Circuit 1A, okay? Let's get it set up. 
Oh, the, do you know what? Watching these back now, now we're on the Friday and I'm watching this, it makes me feel a little bit ill, these. These are the most horrible things. What, why did you put these in the program? They're the icing on the cake. So once the lifting side is done, this is a way to really rapidly help you increase your fitness. You've got to be noticing it already though, in terms of your ability to carry out these circuits. No, I think it's going the opposite <laughs> way. My ability to carry them out is, it's becoming more of a struggle the more of them I do. 20 seconds, come on, let's push. Oh my God. Last 20. Hamstrings. Oh, this hurt the same. Oh. Oh. Right, so. Oh, everything <laughs> hurts so much. The thing about what George is experiencing now is, Comfort zones, as we know, lead nowhere. Nothing changes unless you provide a valid, meaningful stimulus to the body. In this case, a huge amount of metabolic stress. This is how we should be feeling. Two minutes, Alright right, then guys, so it is Thursday, the day before Julian comes in to do my second PT session of the week, finishing off the week again with the second leg session. Just did upper body two and for the first time ever in the gym, I wasn't filming. The plan was to not film any of the working out this week other than the two sessions that Julian is with me, just so that I'm not bombarding you guys with the same exercises on repeat over and over again every week. And um, it got to the side raises and the barbell curls. And this is gonna be a little bit gross now, but I feel like if we're documenting this whole process, you should know everything. So in the middle of the workout, a bit of lactic acid buildup, start like, throwing up in my mouth a little bit. And disgustingly, it went back down and I thought I would be okay. And then when it came back up, it came back up three times the amount as before. This is disgusting, but I've got to tell you these things because um, I've been feeling really, really rough this week. I've been super low energy. I don't think I'm getting enough sugar in my body on a daily basis right now. Uh, my calories have come down to 2,400 as well, which is 300 less than at the start of week one. Um, and the workout's done now, but I'm supposed to be finishing on circuits. I'm gonna at least attempt the circuits, even though I don't think I'm gonna get much done. Uh, taking like 10, 15 minutes out to come and watch my girlfriend train, which is uh, a nice little break. You look like you're working hard. No, I'm being serious. So you've got a little sweat going on. I was just running. It's never been that hard running ever. You're struggling? Do you know what you need? It's embarrassing how little I was running. You need to watch George Benson's Body Transformation on YouTube for motivation. Best series out there. Oh. Okay, so that was the end of Thursday's session. I feel like if I don't talk about this right now, then it will kind of lose the feeling potentially. So I think it's better to just own what is going through my mind right now. I don't know whether to be angry at myself for not being able to complete the circuit. Someone's messaging me. It is... Lawrence Benson telling me grim when I told him about what just happened. I don't know whether to be angry at myself for not finishing the circuit or pleased with myself that my body told me enough is enough for at least today um, and conserve my energy for tomorrow. Now, when Julian is here, he always says that there needs to be a bit left in the tank for tomorrow in order to get all of the sessions done to the maximum capacity that I possibly can per day per session. 
Now, I think I'm gonna take that going forward this evening. I'm just frustrated with myself because even though I hate those bloody circuits, you guys have seen how I react to the circuits in all of the videos so far. They're not nice, they're not enjoyable, it's just pain and taking the body beyond its comfort zone and into something. <laughs> I genuinely, from all of my honest heart of hearts, could not have put in any more uh, to the session today. Yesterday was very similar. I wasn't sick yesterday, but in terms of the energy, the energy was low. I think I need to have a discussion with Julian tomorrow when he comes up here. Even though I'm I'm actually seeing myself lift heavier weights, particularly with the initial movements, moving into the uh, the negatives and then the metabolic phase, that's kind of similar. But in terms of the heavier lifts at the start of each workout, I'm still making progress. So I think I'm probably being a bit hard on myself, but I feel like I have to be hard on myself and weigh up all of these options and keep saying to myself, am I really doing enough? Tomorrow's Friday, roll on that session. I'm gonna get an early night and get as much sleep in as I can. I'm gonna hydrate myself with a bucket load of water again. And yeah, fingers crossed I can get through tomorrow. We're dealing with a few issues. We've got some extreme weather, also known as the polar vortex taking over the UK. It's actually not taking over the UK. It's just making uh, things a little bit wet and damp around here. But I'm feeling good. Energy's a little bit low, um, but the progress of the past two weeks and everything that's happened before us is driving me forward into this week. Let's go. I need some extra energy today. Can't even open it. Was it a shot? Interesting. Yeah, pre-workout. Very tasty. <laughs> My whole body just feels like I've been through a war zone start drinking like chicken stock between meals if you are really hungry drink it like soup it's actually quite tasty oh i'd like, like it i'm a bottle man mate <laughs> there you go right i'm going to drop the protein down slightly i'm going to increase your carbs and fats okay that's it's, this is fine tuning so like yeah. i said we have a plan we assess and we iterate and manipulate and optimize uh, we're gonna hit chest i'm gonna hit some arms today let's get it done right. yep. two options. Option A, feel like crap and let that feeling dictate you having a poor session. Let it decide for you. Oh, I feel crap, you have a poor session. Option two, despite that feeling, come in, treat it like a challenge and if you can perform on a day like today when it's not going for you, yeah. nothing is going to stop you. You're going to come into the gym and have repeated successful sessions. Yeah. That's your decision. You have total control of that. Yeah. Just like you have total control of every single set. So, to me, it's an easy decision. Yeah, yeah. Challenge yourself. Today's just going to be a bigger challenge, but the rule will be bigger too. So at the end of every session, I think the best thing to do is to see what you guys have been saying in the comments of the previous episode. Starting with some steady state. I mean, we're starting with 13 minutes into it now. Three miles down. Managed meters. To get meters, three meters three down. Meters. Managed to get from Dalston to Dalston Junction. But, Comment again, Watson's Venture. He seems to be a regular viewer of the series. Interesting reply to my question. Cheers, boys. That includes you, Julian, by the way. Ooh. Smashing it, George. Well played. Thanks, mate. Would be great if in the future, a series where you work out and maybe do another 12-week plan with subscribers. I was thinking about this. Why don't we get someone who's been watching the series in towards one of the last weeks? What do you think? Yeah, sounds good. Put them um, through the paces. They'd have to be 
really, uh, like, really muscly. Yeah, to make me look like a little dafty. No, no, to, to match your level of muscul oh, muscularity. Such a nice man. Otherwise, they're going to feel a bit crap. Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Harry Harry. That can't be his full name. If it is... Fair play. Fair Harris. play. So, I'm around the same weight and height as George. I currently started to do a push-pull leg split. My strength is really good, yet my physique hasn't changed much over the years. I've been training for around three years. Any tips or advice for me to get overall leaner and more of a fuller physique? From what it says here, it looks like he only changes, trains legs. Push, pull, legs. So basically that's, a, that's pushing moves for body, pull moves for body, uh, and yeah. then legs, okay? Uh, right, so everything works, or most things work, but nothing works forever. So this is the key to, uh, to variation as a, as a valid uh, element of training that we can, we can manipulate. So <laughs> the point here is you have to train to change, you have to change your training style uh, in cycles. So for instance, you might do a push-pull legs training cycle for eight to 12 weeks, but then something's got to change. You might then favor uh, a high frequency bodybuilding style split where you do individual body parts. Um, critically though, you've got to train intensely and intelligently and accurately. Uh, there's 101 ways I can answer that question, but I think the main thing you've got to consider there is variation. Cool. Your trainers, Lincoln from Prison Break, all right. I've never actually watched Prison Break, but I bet he's a very handsome guy. I think the thumbnail of episode two, you you are pulling the Lincoln Burroughs. He's quite a big guy too. Is he? I think it's a justifiable comparison. He's handsome. I think so. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. I think he's pretty handsome. Small guy. Yeah. No Just muscle. Just like you. No muscle. Just like you. Okay. AJE 1697. I've started this week on a similar 12 week schedule. If I were you, I'd quit that one and get on this one instead. Just a little plug. My first session in, after being out for a couple of years, has killed my arms and I can't even straighten them. Oh. Do I avoid training them until they're back to normal? Well, if you can't straighten them, then absolutely. Um, recovery will typically take probably up to a week if it's your first session back and you've really overdone them. It sounds like you have possibly overdone them, uh, but that's quite symptomatic of anybody who's taken a bit of time away from training and returns to it. The soreness is immediately much worse, but it will get better in time. It won't always be that bad that you can't even straighten your arms. Okay, so the last question, which is a very vague one, from Gazaman96F1. He's just started training. Any tips on how to push to the next stage? I'm gonna take over this one. Today was the day where this week has absolutely killed me in terms of the training. The first two weeks, I was kind of riding off of that buzz of something new. This is week three. This is now completely part of my lifestyle, and many days this week, and many times where I've stepped up to train, I've really felt the work that I've put in. That's Julian Ups Resistance from the previous sessions, which has made it a lot harder for me to self-motivate myself because I have been feeling so weak and poor. That really didn't go up. There we go. Whereas this week, I've really had to dig deeper to even get myself in the gym in the first place. And I've turned up, it's Friday now. This is the final session of the week. I'm gonna do a, a steady state cardio session, max effort though, um, over the weekend to finish. But now I've got through this, and even today, like today was the worst I've felt. Yesterday I threw up in my session. That, that was a weird one. Um, but I'm fighting through these things. I'm getting over these like mini anxieties you get about this kind of thing. <clears throat> and I'm just getting the work done. And next week, I'm excited to get back on it. And for me, having this been the toughest week and having got through it the way I have, full steam ahead now. No excuses, you bastard. <laughs> 10 seconds, 9, 8, push, 7, big push, 6, big push, kick now, 3, 2, 1, and you're done. Oh. Okay guys, so if you want to get on this exact plan that George is on, you can access it via the Team Titanium website. There's still a free trial going on until the 27th of this month. So capitalise on that, get involved and join us on this journey. Boom. Nailed it.